Heck, I wonder if you came across a couple fellas here from New York. They're taking in the unique joys of strawberry, same as you. Thanks, mister. Okay, Missy. Good morning. Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two-dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady'd set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here. Come on, tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. It's coming! Ah! Wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? need what? a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Uh-huh, here, come on! Come on, lady.
Easy there. Jesus. Who'd do a thing like this? Hello? Not here. Okay, Missy. in here. <laughs> Let's get you up. I'm gonna bite you. You better, damn not. That was a nice hat you was wearing. I'll make you into a hat, mister. I'd love to see I you try. take this headpiece for myself. That's mine, mister. And you belong to me. So I guess that makes it okay. There you go. Now, let's get you to Blackwater. May get a wife of your own in prison. You ever 
Felt pain, mister? Real pain? Screaming, crying, begging pain? I will put you to a fire. Have you praying for your death. Ugh. You're the one tied to the back of a horse. Now hush. Water police. I like it here. I just hope this country makes it through this century. I see. Anyway, I see. You're coming with me. Come on, Green. Let's get you inside. God damn it! I'll bite you. Yeah, yeah. Well, got you that Skinner, brother. Elias Green. Set me down. Elias Green as I live and breathe. God damn it. Put him in a cell. You ain't got a rope strong enough for me, Sheriff. Justice will be done and done quick. Lock him up. That man ain't worth spit. But here's what we're paying for him. You don't mean that, do you? I'll take it. You're making an old chief's life a little easier, you know? How about coming back in a while, picking up another poster? You want to hear about the murders? All the folks I killed? How they scream, chief? I'll see you dead and every man like you. I will. Hello, welcome. Hey now, you cannot be over there. Don't worry about it. Well, if that's over.
You'll be fine, girl. Stay put. Sure. You, uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed. By a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, Maybe we can go rob him back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Let's go, girl. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. We ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Oh. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But... I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there, whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but... You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls? That weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now... 
He might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on. This outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the given back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Let's go take a look down in the valley. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow them. Canyon underneath us. Let's go. They'll be coming through here. thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there.
Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. around them. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife? You got it! Okay, let's move! Up ahead, another one on the road. I've got him. That's over. <gasps> gonna hear us on these bridges, but it's worth a try.
Patience. What's in here? Let me go! Are you with her? What's it look like? We're going for a ride. It didn't work out for you before, woman. You should let me alone. Here we go. I got hey, help! Finley. Need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then... You killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How did it work ain't easy, John? No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. <laughs> Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hey, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. You. Uh, ah, bastard! Uh, uh, I hate you. Just put him on the bed. Uh, uh. 
We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. I just heard that the police chief spent his last night in this place. Not sure why. Be a good girl now. Doing okay, girl. Partner? Morning to you. Hungry girl. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. 
joking. I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If their skin is about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. Do you want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devin, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable, instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No! Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. I wasn't done saying it. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. 
Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil's knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Go speak to the man. Like I said, Nils is a an acquired taste. Let me do the talking. Uh, there he is, working away. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. It's Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Whew. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you. And men... Oh! Whoa! Everyone find some cover! Devin, you okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. All right, you stay here. Guard the wagons. Charles, come on. Mr. Devin. Mr. Devin. Help me. Mr. Devin. Mr. Devin. Mr. Devin. Mr. Devin. They're down the hill! 
are they coming from? He's got a knife! Stop shooting! Oh, I don't like the sound of that! Come on! tools. Now where's Mr. Go, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinner. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody, too. Is he. Is it. bad? They opened him up pretty good. Nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! Uh -huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Here, Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. All right, let's get out of here. Oh my lord! What they do to him? Nothing nice. <laughs> Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Men, women, children. Ended up like Wayne. Or worse. Damn. Sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll 
I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so.